Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of AB in the Films. What I saw today, good versus evil. Love versus hate. There's only one weapon you have to fight back with. It's love. We wrap our arms around each other. I don't think there's any way that they can ever win. I liked this movie a whole lot more than I thought I would. Um, okay, so what's the story? Well, if you haven't seen the trailers, you know that this is the story of uh, the Boston Marathon bombing uh, that took place about nearly four years ago. And, um, and I remember watching that on television and seeing the events of that uncover as the police... Uh, and the city of Boston looked into what was going on and how to find uh, the guys that did it. And uh, I really enjoyed this movie a lot. Uh, there are, are a lot of sad moments in it. There's a lot of cheerful moments in it. There are a lot of uh, really good acting. Mark Wahlberg, I mean, my God, this is the third film he's done with Peter Berg. And... Man, they nail it every time. I mean, these are the guys that did Lone Survivor, uh, Deepwater Horizon, and now Patriot's Day, this one. Uh, man, every time they team up together to make a movie, they're really good. Even if the movie is, even if the movies that they make are based on real events, they still do really good um, portraying the events and everything. One of the things I really liked about this movie is that since it's a docudrama, when they film certain scenes in the movie they also show real footage from security cameras from cell phones from the actual event which is pretty risky to do i think uh but that adds to the realistic side of what this movie's trying to do and what it's trying to do is really tell a story of how um people come together and help out one another that's pretty much what I got out of this movie. And I really, really enjoyed watching it. Not just Uncovered. Because, you know, like, okay, when the trailer first came out from this movie, a lot of people in the comment section were saying, Oh my God, Hollywood, stop cashing in on this thing. You know, it's it's too soon. It, it this was a horrible event. Like like like, what's next? A, another nine eleven movie, or the, you're gonna do this now, or whatever. I don't know what the comments were, but they were really um, not anticipated for this movie, obviously. But they they we were kind of against this. Maybe because it was too soon, or maybe we're tired of Hollywood making a movie out of every single tragedy that happens. But, you know, I didn't get get it out of the, I didn't get that reaction out of this movie because I too thought that. I thought like, oh, this is way too soon. This is Hollywood cashing in on a horrific event. That's terrible. But Mark Wahlberg and Peter Berg have made it clear in interviews that when when they were going to do this, they said we have to do this right. We have to do it right. We have to talk with the victims ask them if it would be okay and really have a conversation with the police department of Boston and a lot of people that were involved in the investigations you know a lot of a lot of research went down to prepare for this movie um and uh, and it it paid off it really did pay off i was crying during parts of this movie i was cheering in parts of this movie I loved the acting in this. I mean, John Goodman's really, really good. I mean, like, you can tell John Goodman's doing his Boston accent in this. Um, uh, Kevin Bacon is actually pretty good in this, yeah. As, uh, I think, the FBI investigator. He's the main guy, the, the top FBI agent that's involved in solving this. Um, and even though I watched this uncover on the news that entire week because the event happened on Monday and by Friday it was all over... Uh, you know, so I said, well, I know the events, I know what happened. I, I really didn't, you know, like, like, th them, one of the things I really liked about it was they don't, was, you actually see certain events that the media didn't cover. Like, for example, the investigation. There's a scene in this movie, and maybe it was real, maybe it wasn't, it probably was real, it seems pretty realistic to me. Um, 
The next day after the event happened, on Tuesday, they call in Mark Wahlberg's character because he knows um, the streets really well of Boston, and he was there at the finish line when, you know, the bombs went off. And so they asked him, and they're trying to piece together the security footage on how to find, you know, the culprits. And they asked Mark Wahlberg, all right, well, if, we, if we're at this area, then what? W how far would it be? How much time would it take until the guys are back there on that corner and then beyond that corner? And Mark Wahlberg's walking around, he's thinking, he's like, try that street. And then they look at the security footage and they're like, no, I don't have him. Okay, try that street. Got him, got him, got him. There he goes, there he goes. Like, that that was interesting, that whole scene. I really like that when they try to put the, when they try to uh, piece the crime scene back together again at this headquarters where they're trying to solve it. So that, I really liked that. Um, the effects in this movie are really good. Uh, that whole Thursday night shootout scene, because I was curious how they were going to uh, film that because I remember hearing about that on TV on Thursday night, the big shootout. Um, they film it really well. I really liked it. Um, some of this movie's hard to watch because they try to get it down to, you know, action to like real time, like how it really happened. Um, I I would say go see it. I mean, like if it, I I wouldn't say rush out to the theater to see it, but I would definitely give it a watch. Like it doesn't, it it, it it's not like it, it's not like the kind of movie that you would just because it's called Patriots Day, you would think oh it's gonna be like oh America's hurt America you know you know like 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 they're basically going to do what Michael Bay did in Pearl Harbor they're pretty much going to do in that they don't do that in this it's not that movie guys it's not it's not that kind of movie no if you think this is like Michael Bay's Pearl Harbor you're not it's the exact opposite it's better it doesn't that's not the focus the focus of this movie is not the symbolism of it but the people coming together to help out others. That's the whole point of this movie. That's what I got out of it, and that's why I like this movie. This is one of the top 10 best films of 2016. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I got nothing else left to say about it. I liked it, and I hope you guys check it out. It's very, it, it's worth the time. It's a good movie. I definitely recommend Patriot's Day. And now, I'm going to take a look and see what my next review is going to be.